right? But they got some issues. They got to solve them. I don't see a lot of answers that they had holes for from last year. I mean, my biggest fear is that he's going to get injured because that's what we see. We see him get injured, so I don't want to close my eyes and act like it doesn't happen, right? That'd be foolish. The Las Vegas Raiders have finished their 2023 draft, the first draft class in the post-Derek Carr era, and that is why we had the former Raiders QB, now Saints quarterback Derek Carr. We had his brother, David Carr, on NFL Network sounding off about Genius Josh. McDaniel's draft class and the quarterback position of the Raiders and what he thinks will happen with the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, obviously, we know David Carr is going to be biased. He's going to have a negative disposition towards Josh McDaniels because Josh McDaniels did move on from his brother, who was the starting quarterback last year. But there are some comments that David Carr has made that does give some insight on what the future of Josh McDaniels could be and what exactly Josh McDaniels is banking on in order to have long-term success as a head coach. We know that McDaniels Daniels' first gamble is to have Jimmy Garoppolo be the starting quarterback of the Raiders for 2023 and quite possibly 2024. It's really not a one-year contract because the Raiders would eat $10 million in dead money if they moved on from Jimmy Garoppolo next year. And people in Raiders team media have been skeptical about Jimmy Garoppolo staying healthy. No, no, no. I, I believe that he's going to get injured, right? And that's been my biggest fear. I think oh, he's boy. a good guy. I think he's a good quarterback. My biggest fear is that he's going to get injured because that's what we see. We see him get injured, so I don't want to close my eyes and act like it doesn't happen, right? That'd be foolish. So. That is your boy Q, who has a show on Raider Nation Radio, contributes to the Raiders YouTube channel and website, and also has Locked On Raiders. And even he cannot deny, like he says, he cannot be blind to the fact that at three of the past five seasons, Jimmy Garoppolo has been injured. And even last season, he could not finish out the year, and Brock Purdy had to take over, and the San Francisco 49ers looked just fine. And that that is why many people believe that Josh McDaniels and the Raiders would draft their next franchise quarterback, but instead they waited to the fourth round to address this issue, and that is what David Carr commented on on NFL Network. As I look through, they didn't get a quarterback until 135. That's the only thing that I get concerned for Josh about. If you're going into this thing, it wasn't the greatest last year, right? So you got to have someone that can buy you a little bit of time. Is it going to be Jimmy G? I don't know. We'll see. Obviously, David Carr is going to focus on the quarterback position since that is the position that his brother played while he was with the Raiders. But when it comes to to Josh McDaniels, who's now in year two of his four-year contract. After this season, he just has two more years left. And we know these contracts are fully guaranteed. And if you piss the owner off enough, he could pull the plug early. Because the Raiders waited till the fourth round to draft their next quarterback, McDaniels is putting all of his eggs in the Jimmy Garoppolo basket. Yes, Brian Hoyer, who the Raiders also signed to a two-year contract with a lot of guarantees, is somebody who has a lot of experience, but nobody is expecting this guy to be serviceable for a whole season, especially if Jimmy Garoppolo goes down. And Aiden O'Connell, even though he has shined at times in the Big Ten and has been an accurate quarterback, he does lack the athleticism, not only in his mobility, but in his general arm strength. So he is not a guy who people are expecting to hit the ground running. And we keep hearing about how, you know, genius Josh's offense is so complex. So how could Aiden O'Connell possibly learn it in a year? I mean, it's just so intricate. <laughs> The point being, if Jimmy Garoppolo does stay healthy for the entire season, then the Raiders do have a great opportunity to perhaps improve on their record from last year. Only having six wins last year, a lot of close games there, a lot of blown leads there, actually historic blown leads there last year. And McDaniels is arguing that the reason why they failed is because the defense and because he did not have his right quarterback did not have the right culture fit and scheme fit. Well, now you got Jimmy Garoppolo and you know about his injury history. You know there are problems there. There, but you've decided to put all your eggs in the Garoppolo basket. And if it does collapse, if there is a hole in that basket and all the eggs fall out and crack into the ground, well, Josh McDaniels has no one else to blame but his damn self. And David Carr spoke about the rest of the draft outside of quarterback as well, especially Tyree Wilson, tight end Michael Mayer. Probably saw Mayer and said, that's Gronk, right? Is he going to be Gronk? I don't know. Gronk's pretty special. He's like one of one, but he's wearing 87. He does a lot of the same things. And just through the tone of David Carr's voice, you could tell he's not impressed impressed, probably not trying to sound impressed. And there is an argument to be made that, you know, if Derek was still on the team, he'd probably be pumping these picks up. But there is some concern there. Michael Mayer, is he really going to be the next Gronkowski? I hope so. But that is also a lottery ticket. And when you're moving on from somebody like Darren Waller, somebody who was already a dynamic tight end, those are some big shoes to fill no matter what. And Tyree Wilson, great edge defender, going to be very productive in the NFL and for the Raiders. But I don't know if that's going to happen this year when you already have Chandler Jones. 
and Tyree Wilson is still recovering from that foot. I do think the cornerback Bennett will have an opportunity to start, quite possibly in the slot. And Byron Young, the defensive tackle out of Alabama, will get his reps, but I'm not quite sure that Jerry Tillery and Byron Young completely solves the defensive tackle problem for the Raiders. The big question here is Mark Davis. Is he fully bought in on the Josh McDaniels, Dave Ziegler plan? We know McDaniels has a four-year contract. We're in year two, going to enter year three next year, $10 million a year, roughly. And Mark Davis could elect to just let Josh McDaniels play out his contract, no matter what happened. But he could get frustrated and spontaneously fire the guy if the results are not coming in. I truly believe Mark Davis when he does say that he just hires people and lets them do their job. It could be possible that McDaniels really does believe Jimmy Garoppolo is going to stay healthy this year and this will ultimately be an upgrade because it's a better culture and scheme fit. McDaniels could also believe that they'll utilize that short passing game with Jimmy Garoppolo, allowing him to prevent any type of injury. And maybe he does think Aiden O'Connell is a sleeper in the draft. A lot of people were high on this guy as a pocket passer, just lacks that athleticism. But I do think that if we're sitting here in week six, Jimmy Garoppolo is on injured reserve and the Raiders can't win a freaking game because they have no quarterback, I don't think Mark Davis is going to buy that excuse. And I definitely believe Raiders fans will not buy that excuse either, even people who can't stand Derek Carr. So McDaniels has made some radical decisions. McDaniels has gambled and rolled the dice while he's been in Las Vegas. Will it pay off? Many do not think so, including people who are loyal to the Raiders organization. In terms of the Raiders season and the betting line, Will they win over seven and a half games this year in 2023 or will it be under? Right now, under is definitely the favorite. Let me know in the comments below where you would put your money. If you want more live streams from me, I am going live gaming, hanging out on this channel. Maybe I'll even just be walking around at Target or perhaps playing some Madden or perhaps talking football. I don't know, but if you want to join me on Wi-Fi Willie Live, check it out on my homepage. The link is in the pinned comment below. But we'll keep you up to date on the Raiders here. Peace out and I hope you have a a good one.